Hi guys, welcome to the video today and uh, today I'm going to go through this bike I've been uh, lucky enough to ride for the last couple of days. So this is a demo bike from Cervelo, so I'm very lucky in the position I am that I can get to ride bikes like this and uh, bring the content to you guys. So this is the current S5 frame just in the last year's decals. This is a Durace 9070 build. So it's technically a last generation Durace Di2 but still it's a pro grade group set. Um, we moved down to the front here so because of the weather in the UK at the moment being winter I've had to put some lights on here uh, which the handlebar itself actually contains quite well. I've got a battery pack up here, we got an FSA OS99 stem, my Garmin Edge 1000 just about fits on the stem itself, it's quite a, it needs to be a little bit longer really. It doesn't help that the junction box on this one is on the external so it's the external junction box on here. Light fits very neatly on the front and the cable is just stuff inside the gap. Not what it's designed to do, but it works pretty well. So it's the Cervelo handlebar, the carbon handlebar, the Aero one. Super, super thin. Designed specifically for this bike to sort of reduce um, drag on the bike itself. We have got on here the uh, 9070 DIT levers. He's got the buttons on top. Uh, DIT levers. Bar takes a bit grubby, so demo bike, so not much I can do about that. Got the Durace 9100 and uh, 9000 brakes on here, uh, not uh, direct mount, these are the single bolt, the old school ones. Set of head jet wheels, jet sixes. These are actually surprisingly really nice wheels. They're, um, I haven't actually seen what the retail is, I think they're pretty expensive wheels, but they are a wider, wider rim. So they are pretty wide. These are 23mm tyre that has come on a, um, a Continental. Grand Prix 23. Moving down, right with also those that used to come with, they all come with Shimano cranks now, but used to have a uh, Rotor 3D Plus chainset on here with my look here blade carbon pedals, a Durace 9170, uh, 9070, 60, sorry, front mech, and a rear mech as well on there. 1125 for cassette, 5236 for rear, so another jet on the back. It's nice that it, it's got these wheels on actually, aluminium brake track in this weather. You can see how crappy it is in the this country at the moment. And that mud on the back here, this is from two days riding. Um, managed to just about squeeze my sensible light in the back of here. Really secure actually on there. So even though it's not an aero clamp, it will fit on an aero seat post. And then we've got the old style Cervelo seat post and not the, uh, the ring backed one. And Taro's VS saddle on there. So this is what I've been riding. I so say I'm enjoying it. I forgot how good because I used to. If people have been on the channel for a while, and well, now I used to have one of these. Didn't really get on with it as well, but I had 808s in it, so I think the depth of the wheel um, made it a little bit, a little bit uncontrollable in a sense. This is also a 56 centimeter frame, which I don't usually ride. I'm five foot nine, and this is fits me actually surprisingly well. I'd usually ride a 54, which is what my old one was. Um, but I was really enjoying this bike. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, please subscribe, comment, like, etc. And I'll do, a, when I've read it a little bit more, a longer in-depth review on how I'm finding everything on the bike. But uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like, and I will catch you guys later on. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.